13 here and today I have a very exciting video for you. Uh, if you've seen the title you already know what this is but I've been seeing them around uh, on YouTube um, these amazing budget knives that are you know knockoffs of um, various different knife uh, like luxury or not luxury like high-end uh, knife makers um, and I especially, I've always loved uh, the Benchmade Axis Lock. I've always thought that's like, for me, my favorite um, locking mechanism on folders. And I never really thought that there'd be another company making them. And so I thought I was kind of resigned to always having to go to Benchmade to get me some Axis Lock folders. But then I saw a video online about Ganzo Knives and I said, what is that? And then the, the reviewers were all saying the quality was pretty good and they were easy to work with and the steel was 440C, which, hey, I can't complain about that. And I was like, oh, okay, I got to check this out. So what we have here today is a Ganzo G7392BK, which is the black G10 scales. Um, and I think this is... The blade is 3.3 .3 inches or something like that. The only th only complaint I have really for, for Ganzo is that their knives are all pretty long in terms of the folders. And and dealing with states like where I go to school, in the state where, where I go to school, um, the law is, unfortunately, in the city that I, I, I go to school in, it, they have a knife law which is 3 inches and under is, is all that's allowed. So, I you know, for me... Uh, Benchmade Northwark, my you know I've had this for like a week and a half now. This thing's great, all right. Um, but the thing is, I was looking. Oh well, maybe I can get a Ganzo knife that I can beat on even more. Um, because don't get me wrong, I'm not afraid to use this, and you know I'm I'm relatively proficient at sharpening with the the Edge Pro Apex, so I'm okay. But I still don't want to really mess this up. If I'm in a situation where I might even, you know, do something, you know, God forbid, pry with a knife or something, there's no way I'm going to use this, right? Not to mention, even though it's got stabilized wood scales, they can still get scratched and they can still get damaged. And this knife is just too pretty to um, to do that to it. So I was like, I want the Axis Lock, but I don't want to spend the money for Benchmade. And I don't want, and I, I you know, I'm not, and I, even if I was going to spend the money on Benchmade, even some of their lower models, I'm not super inspired about their designs, right? I find that most of the Benchmade knives, they tend to look alike and all that. And so I figured if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get an Axis Lock, I don't wanna pay that much. Well, Ganzo delivers, all right guys? So enough talking, I'm gonna get into this. Here we go. So it comes in a pretty attractive box. Um, Ganzo, nothing is impossible. You know, you know the deal on the outside. I'm sure you've seen Cutley Lovers videos and all that. Thank you for choosing Ganzo Knives. Ganzo Knives can help you deal with all kinds of problems in your wilderness survival and daily life when you face kinds of outdoor troubles. Ganzo Series Knives can make you feel more confident. Exclamation mark. Applicable. Traveling, mountaineering, venturing, pedestrianism, through the forest, collection, defending. Warning. Sharp blade. Handle with care. If not use, keep it fold. Keep away from children. So obviously, you know, funny stuff, um, as always. Anything that's a Chinese product that isn't an officially licensed or produced or overseen by another company is going to have Chinglish in it. But I have to say, otherwise, you know, besides the fact that they failed to get a good translator, the product uh, presentation is great. Um, the manual... It's really nice. There's even a little warranty card in here, and they say there's a one-year warranty for all models sold. I don't know if that's really true, but hey, I'd love to see that. Um, it says all Ganzo knives are produced with high-strength alloys and lasers sharpened. Yeah, I don't know how that's yeah, and that allows them to, to use in the most extreme allows to use them in the most extreme conditions and physical stress. Ganzo multifunction tools, multi-tools include items such as yeah, so. It's just breaking down everything, and that's pretty much it. There's not really a manual. You can see here, it's just breaking down their various models here. Um, and you'll notice that even with their folders, the Axis Lock models are seemingly absent from the, from the little uh, catalog they have here. But anyway, 
that's not what we're here for, right? We're here for the knife. So on top of the knife, it's wrapped around the knife, you'll find the little felt bag, which while cheap and probably not the most durable thing in the world, is a nice addition if you have a bunch of knives that you EDC and you switch off and you want one that you can put on a shelf and sort of just store without getting all dusty and, you know, gunked up. And then, you know, silica gel packet, and then here's the real deal. It's the knife. Now, I do want you guys to understand that Ganzo knives, obviously, if you're paying 15 bucks like I did for this knife, quality control isn't going to be as good as a Benchmade. It just isn't, right? So when I got this, it was super stiff. Like, this was tight. You know, obviously, the pivot screw was a little bit too tight. And the axis locks, Omega springs, were way too tight. Now, if you... You know, I'm not going to bother doing another video because I, it's already a great one online by this uh, this couple. They have a channel called Birdshot IV or 4, but it's spelled out Roman numerals. If you look them up and just look up Birdshot IV, you know, 4, um, if you look up Birdshot IV and you type in Ganzo uh, Axis Lock uh, Modification, you should find their exact demonstration on how you can bend the oversprung omega springs to lessen this because it was so tight where and you know I don't I'm not saying I'm you know Hulk over here but I mean I I, I have a decent strength thumb and I'm able to pull down on on most bench mates without a problem and I was having to do you know both fingers on both sides and holding a knife like this to tug on this thing to release it so now that I've adjusted this and adjusted the pivot screw, I mean, look at that, you know? And again, guys, this is not a bench mate, all right? And, you know, I could tighten, I'm going to tighten that pivot screw just a little bit more, but even as loose as that is, there's basically no side to side play. Very slight right now. I'm going to tighten that up. Absolutely no front to back play. Um, and it opens and opens and closes like a dream. Um, so again, that's really easy to do. Um, all you need is your Torx bits. Uh, what is it? Let me see what I used. Um, I think it was like T6 and T8. Anyway, if you have a nice Torx set, you can just figure it out, fit them in there. But yeah, no. And then um, from the factory, I guess I'll do a demo here. pretty damn sharp. Now, it does catch a couple times and you know, it's definitely not as sharp as my Benchmade when I got it. This one, it feels more effortless, but I mean, complete honesty, most knives that aren't a higher end knife will come like this, if not worse. And this is quite nice. So considering you paid for that price, you get the axis lock, the clip, I mean everything is, is very high quality. This this steel is, is, this clip is very well tensioned. Oftentimes I'll see clips on cheaper knives are the weak point because they got to save money somewhere. And so um, the clips will be very weak and they'll just, as soon as you pull it past like a, you know, two millimeters up off of the, of the scale, it'll start to bend and then, then it won't hold anymore. Well, I mean... I've done a few pocket tests. I haven't carried this yet, but I have to say, first impressions are this is excellent. Um, and again, like I said, really smooth action. Um, I, honestly, if you told me this was a bench made, I would believe you. All right, I really, I really would. This is, this is, is quite incredible. I mean, maybe not the highest end, you know, gold class bench made, but for sure. Um, the axis lock, once you modify it, now don't get discouraged. Now, if you buy this on Amazon, you might feel like, oh, I can just go return it. But the thing is, with depending on what they have in stock, if you order it again, you might get another one that's just as bad. Um, and it's really an easy fix. Now, if there's an alignment issue, then maybe return it. On this one, blade centering is eh, not perfect. Um, here, let me focus in so you guys can see that. So blade centering is not perfect, but it's pretty damn close. And, you know, I have to say, like I said, 15 bucks for this thing, uh, you can't go wrong. Now, this is probably going to be a gift for my, my dad, actually. But I will say, um, regardless, I'm really interested to see, um, to maybe get one for myself in the future. Um, because the, the, these are, it, I'm, I, have, I don't know what to say. I'm <laughs> honest with you. I thought for sure, like, oh no, these people are getting samples from Ganzo. They're, you know, you know, talking shit. They're, 
talking about knives and all they have are cheap knives, but I've seen these people. There's col their collections. I mean, they they have you know three, four, or five hundred dollar knives in their collection, and if they're saying that something like this is good quality, then I, I couldn't argue with that, and that's what made me decide. You know what? I'm gonna order this, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance, and and boy, am I glad I did, because this thing is is impressive. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. This is is really impressive. Now, obviously, gonna be a little more weighty, uh, non skeletonized frame there. Um, it's totally solid stainless steel liners there, um, but but even so, I mean, this thing is, like I said, guys, I don't want to keep this video too long, but Ganzo knives, okay, this particular model too is a go, okay. It was an absolute 100% perfect purchase for $15, okay? I can't see, I mean, yes, um, there was some modification needed, but like I said, it took me 10 minutes, 10 minutes to do, and I was taking it slow so I didn't mess up the Omega Springs. Because like I said, if you when you watch that video made by Birdshot IV, you're going to see the same thing. Um, they're going to they're gonna tell you the same thing I'm going to tell you right now, which is metal has uh, fatigues, right? Metal fatigues. So when you're bending those Omega Springs, because it's just a piece of spring steel, it, you, you're better off bending it less and then or bending it less and then need, finding that you need to bend it more than to bend it too much and then try to bend it back because you really can't bend it back. You understand? But anyway, guys, um, you know, if you get one of these, you can't go wrong. Even if it's a little dull from the factory, you know, throw it on a good sharpener you'll be good to go. Mine was already pretty sharp when I got it, like I said, but you know, like I said, for 15 bucks, I mean, you really can't complain. 440C steel, G, real G10, you know, scales, okay? A strong pocket clip, um, axis lock, I mean, what do, what do I have to complain about? Nothing, right? So anyway, guys, if you've been thinking about getting a Ganzo, or you've been looking around and you've been trying to make the decision. You know, I'm here to tell you, you know, I'm a regular guy. I don't have a million subscribers, right? I think I got like 330 or 320, all right? Whatever it is, not many, all right? I know I got a lot of views on some of my videos, but I will tell you this. If you get this and you only you, you only you don't have that much money to spend and you're not sure or you want a knife that you can use but it'll still be good quality, get this knife. Get almost any of their knives. I mean, go on Amazon, look through the, look up Ganzo folder axis lock and you'll find all of their folders. Just keep in mind, they'll all be three inches or longer for sure. Over three inches. That's how all of their knives are. They're about the same size. Like I said, I wish they would make a smaller knife, three inches or below. But if you're okay with carrying a knife this size, uh, by no means will you be disappointed. All right. And, um, all I gotta say is if you've been looking, and you've been thinking, and you've been trying to decide, I'm here to tell you, take that chance, all right? And if you like the video, give me a like. Any questions or comments, you know, leave it down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Get your Ganzo 